Hi guys, welcome to my channel Furkan Education TV. My today's subject is Rule of Western Europe. So let's start the video. And our previous video winner is. So let's zoom in. The Rule of Western Europe. In 380 century, Christianity was declared the state religion of the Roman Empire by the Emperor Theodos I. The church and the bishop of Rome continued to gain unlimited power even more than the emperor and 1000 century, the Roman Catholic Church had become the most powerful and influential in situation. Influential means dominate. The Pope. The Pope means father in Greek, had supreme power through which he not only controlled the Roman Catholic Church but also the lives of people and policies. The Dark Ages The Dark Ages started in 476 century and lasted until 800 century. Due to wide scale, Warfare progress in all fields came to a halt. The church controlled wealth and was the biggest landowner. The people paid one-tenth of their income to church. Arts, literature, philosophy and education were under the complete control of church. Scientists, artists and philosophers were sometimes so afraid of the church that they hid their invention for fear of being persecuted. Anybody with a new idea was punished for disobedience to the church and was publicly hanged. This was the darkest period in the history of Europe. During this period, Western Europe went through a cultural and economic decline. The Mongols The Mongols were the native of Mongolia, a country located in the northwest of China. The founder and the first chief of the Mongol Empire was Genghis Khan. He proved his power and leadership prowess by uniting most of the nomadic tribes of Northeast Asia. Prowess means expertise. The Mongol Empire expanded under the leadership of Genghis Khan and other Mongols Khan who ruled after him. The Mongol raid on Europe. In 13th century, the Mongol made a political motivated move around the Caspian Sea in Eastern Europe. They killed many Russian soldiers on the bank of river Kalka. After Genghis Khan, his son Ogdai continued his journey. He conquered Hungary, Poland, Kiwi, Karakoa, and Lubnania. His next target was Vienna, the earth of Europe, but Ogdai died and his army went back to Mongolia, never returned to Western Europe. Impact of Mongol Invasion on Europe The Mongols are held responsible for the death of approximately 40 to 80 million people in the world. Many cities were heavily damaged or completely destroyed. They established roads that connected the east with the west this enabled Europe and Asia to share knowledge and information with each other. The skill routes reopened between China and Europe, which resulted in increased trade and cultural exchange. Through their control of the ancient skill road, knowledge of paper making, gunpowder, and other technology advances move fairly from the east to west. Zooming. Now, questioning time. What is the meaning of influential? What is the meaning of pope? What is the meaning of prowess? What is the name of Genghis Khan's son? In which century Genghis Khan died? Comment me for the answers. Thanks for watching.